Welcome to the adventures of a perfectly normal man. I keep getting his name wrong. That's probably because it's not at all related to any real name. Anyway, it's Joris Bonson. That's what I've tried to say three times before. And his lovely wife, Marisa Tay. Of course, he married yesterday. Today, we've already got to focus on what heir we want to succeed him, because he is 50 years of age, and perfectly normal men don't live much past 50 in this day and age, uh, c you know, because of the height and all that. So, we do have Joris Bonson II, who is a great diplomat, but I think we'll just wait and see how it sort of, uh, how, how things end up. We've got Barely Bonson, we've got Barbarian Bonson, we've got Bjorn Bonson and Gummy Bonson. All of which are being educated in various fields, all of which are, some of which obviously have those incredibly good traits. And this kid is no exception to that. Let's make sure you're being educated by, honestly, just anyone. Anyone is better than no one right now. For the time being, though, I figured our man, Big Old Craven. A big old scaredy cat. Not that, you know, he's an animal. He's a perfect normal man. Now, we've got at the top of us here, was that Utsang? I think you would say that. These guys, obviously... Consolidating power somewhat and actually it's their dynasty over here as well Which I didn't notice that these guys are Pergyal and these guys are also Pergyal I assume it's Gavilkine or something like that sort of split the Empire in half Regardless, we're the only territory inside his kingdom that he hasn't reclaimed right now So I'm thinking let's butter him up somewhat. Let's try and win him over I'm, t I'm touching him right now and that my friend is the secret to all success That's how we got Marisa Tay and that's how we're gonna get our freedom and sovereignty. Oh god, that's with touched. Oh shit Um because he's also a feudal lord, or I assume because he is... Actually, why is that? He's a member of the Great Trade League minus five. Is, is any lord who's not a member of that, I guess, dislike us? Because we are the ones running the markets, or at least running the trade? That's fair enough. That's kind of a cool little mechanic. So this guy, 25 opinion, we need to get it much, much higher to sort of not even really guarantee peace. You can never truly guarantee peace. But we need to get him into a scenario whereby he's not going to clamp down on us unawares. You know, we especially don't want it to happen just after a succession. Or we especially don't want it to happen just before a succession. Ideally, up midway through a rule where we've got a little bit of money. We've got a decent character going. You know, people love us. We're, we're stable. Now's probably the best time for it to, to make sure that this guy's not going to kick our ass. We've got 300 gold in the treasury as well. Building ourselves up, building up the treasury as well, just to ensure that we do have a safety net in case he does decide to come and kick our ass. would also be kind of helpful. Now, this guy, this... This little, this little bad man yesterday did refuse our trade deal. And now I've decided, you know what? We're a coward, but my God, can we goad him from the other side of the map where he can't hurt us? Unlike this man, this guy's all the way over here. We're a greedy man. We're a craven man, but my God, we're a stubborn and deceitful man. So I think we want a little bit of revenge. I'm going to call him a disgraceful Maharaja. And he's probably going to fall for it because he's a bit dull. Hey, nailed it. I don't know why I'm angering anymore. He already clearly hates us so much. He might challenge us to a duel. Seven personal combat. We have uh, 16 there. Powerful, genius, deceitful, stubborn, craven. Old age, he's getting up there a little bit. Oh, barbarian. Barbarian, you've done it. This is great. So he's Midas Touch 2. So this kid, if we play it right, could in theory succeed us as a better... A, a better uh, administrator, if you want to look at it like that. A better stewardship ruler for the realm. So we've got the business focus giving us plus two. We've got trader giving us plus two. And important documents giving us plus one. Besides that, all the rest is determined by our traits. So we'd only have 20 stewardship without all of those extra little bonuses there. Now, Joris Bonson. Sorry, Joris Bonson the second. Oh, no, it was Barbarian. Barbarian also would have... If we can get him up to that, uh, what was it, Apprentice Trader? Does that not give him, is that plus four or is that like a plus two? I don't remember in hindsight, but he's capable of getting there. That's what I'm getting at. Especially with Charitable, especially with Greedy. Send him on a couple of trade quests. If we can train him up well in the art of, of uh, bookkeeping and trading, I think this kid could be a, a suitable successor. Barbarian, time to train you, my friend. We'll also probably give him some cash as well, because uh, we don't want to be assassinated by our own son. Court Tutor, so you know what, he's not terrible. My God, look at our daughter. Barely Bonson. She's perfect. She, she's just a lovely, a perfectly normal, lovely lady. Is there anyone we can marry her off to? Um, you know what? Getting allies right now would definitely be useful. What have we got nearby? What about like this dynasty? You are, you're Hindu. Okay. What about your son? So we've got Raja Virachana of Sutia. Could we arrange a marriage between, or arrange a betrothal between him, matrilineally, to Bailey Bonson? She has that congenital trait now. Oh, sorry, we need to go arrange a marriage, don't we? She has that good congenital trait. Yeah, skills, age, opinion, he's up for it. This is fantastic news, and his dad doesn't get a say in it either. He hasn't got to worry about political concerns, because for some reason his son's landed. Perfect. Holy shit, that's a powerful ally. To ourself, with 2,100 troops, we have our good friends, uh, Maharaja Varahi, the Mockingbird. Thank you. Or eventually, obviously, he'll, he'll take over. That's very, very nice. Okay. Also building up, I guess, allies with this guy, too. So if we have any more daughters that come of age, we can definitely, uh, get, definitely kick those down there.
I received news that the- uh, Sorry, who's this? Oh, right, this is Barbarian, of course. Just a letter from my good son, Barbarian. Uh, send a caravan. That we know how to do at this stage. The influence of the Trade League is very, very high. Now, <laughs> balancing paradoxes oversights minus 115%. That's nice. I like that. Um, so, what we got is a system whereby if the Great Trade League, if the Great Trade League gets too influential, we'll go into a trade war. Now, I don't remember if I left that on, but if we did, it's a problem. If we didn't, it's not a big deal because it's kind of a trade war, trade war, trade war. Trade wars are enabled. Okay. So what that means is if we get too influential, if we get too big and too powerful, the other feudal lords will say, pack this shit in right now. You guys have got too much money and you're taking it out of our pockets. At which point we have to spend prestige, gold, anything like that to try and back the trade league and make sure that we don't lose that. Otherwise we lose, I believe it's like tax modifiers or, or trade route value, things like that. So we want to win it. But if we do win it, we also get bonuses. We prove to the feudal lords that we're more than capable of, uh, of defending ourselves. And as a result, we get a bit more monopoly over things. That's probably going to happen today. I think we'll probably see that before the end of today. Oh, Wait. Oh, so this guy tried to go to war with them, didn't he? To turn them into a, a tributary, and they succeeded. Oh, God. Oh, God, he succeeded. Okay, that's a problem, because now we can't rely on their help. Uh, I knew they were at war, but I didn't think he was going to win it. Right, what about you guys, then? You've got a lot of troops. You're also Buddhist and Nepali. Are we, are we the same culture group? Uh, Tibet or Burman? And what, what's Nepali? That's uh, Indo-Aryan. Okay, maybe not. Right, in that case, have you got anyone we can marry? Your son. Your lovely son, who, your tall son, would definitely want for maybe a bit more, a bit more eugenics here. I'm thinking you marry my lovely daughter. The, not my daughter. So girl's not my daughter. I need to point that out. She's my best friend's daughter. Best friend and his lovely wife that we've never seen before. Um, shit, we don't have another daughter, really? My daughter, Bonson Bjorn. Oh, we've already betrothed her off to, ah, oh, to Trashy's son, Trashy. Would it be trashy of me to, to to break that betrothal? He's my best friend. I can't do it to him. Break his goddamn heart. But look at that. Look at that. He has foresight beyond all gods. Bjornson, Bjornson, Bjornson. What's his name? Johnson, Joris, Joris Bonson. <laughs> what's this man's name? Sorry. It's time. It's time. He knew it. He, he saw it in the stars. He felt it in his, in his skin. Let's do it. Every coin belongs to us. All we can say we'll have no part of it because if, if we... Have no part of it and fail. The influence of the society is going to plummet through the floor. Um, and, and, you know, we kind of have ourselves to blame that every coin belongs to us. Let's do it. We will fight back and take over the economy of the known world. Good luck. We're now part of the Great Trade War. The Great Trade League Alliance controls 48% of the market. So the Feudal Alliance control 52%. We need to churn in a bunch of prestige, gold, whatever we can really afford to ensure that we're not going to fail this trade war. Um, ah, my son. My son, do we want him to gain essentially envious or trusting? Um, envious, preferably. Neither, ideally, but hey. Um, oh, gain diligent for free? Such crimes will not go unpunished? I mean, my man's been incredibly diligent all campaign. Lots of trade missions, uh, you know, raising his dynasty into fine, young, good, normal members of society. Fine. That seems like a, a, a worthy personality trait to take on board. So here we go. 46% of the major markets are against the feudal lords, 54%. We are not looking good. Use gold, use assets, or use prestige. We are a Buddhist man. Prestige isn't necessarily really what we're after. Karma is essential. We need karma to pass laws. Gold is a greedy man. Prestige, though. Oh, we can use assets. Shit, we've got a lot of assets. Fuck it. Take it all. 500. Boom. Have it, my friends. We're not gonna we're not gonna really min-max it to the extent these assets we're gonna be able to take out as gold. But uh, this is this is still very, very useful. Right, send a caravan. Let's focus on that next then. Uh, prepare your next caravan. Let's give them a little bit of funds. And let's pay some mercenaries as well. My man's greedy, but this will get us a lot of cheap stuff that we can sell for a much better price. So we'll focus on that as well. We own 53%. I'll send you some more assets. I want to ensure that we win because this is going to give us more money in return. You know, this is the ultimate greed right now. It's risk reward. It's the core of business. Ha. Ah. Fresh mints. Fresh mints for us. Greedy and... I mean, we've already got this. That's irrelevant. 557 gold. Is there anything we want to invest into last minute? We, we need a lot more tech before a lot of these buildings can start being a lot more valuable to us. I'm still making no tech advances, huh? What's my spy master up to? Studying tech. Badly. Um, 30% chance yearly, so we've just got to sort of pray for that. And we have no active tech gain. I think... You know what? Maybe we should just start upgrading the hospital. Or the temple. One or the other. I mean, they both give us tech points, but I think that the, the temple, we would have to invest in multiple levels of, say, brewery, for example, before we gain cultural and economic points out of that. This one, we only need a couple of the first level buildings. 
It's expensive, though. But, of course, it has the other bonus of the fact that it will protect us from disease. For a man who's craven, that seems like something he would probably be up for. Even though he's greedy, I think we can justify this one. Boom. Took no time at all. My God, is our build cost modifier that low? So we do need... Oh, my God. We need a lot more tech points before we can even get there, don't we? Right. Man, we're starting, uh, we're starting a difficult scenario. Herb Garden gives us taxes. I mean, Brewery also does give us gold. Will eventually give us tech points. Is there anything we can put in the capital for tech right now? Um... Not at all. Damn it. Okay. That's a real shame. Fine, let's focus on the temple a little bit, because obviously we never really built temples in CK2 ever before. A brewery. A brewery for my greedy man, and who started off his life doing a lot of crabs. you got to remember, he was a bit of a party animal back in the day. Not party animal. Party very normal man back in the day. So, let's build this brewery. I think it'd be up for that. And it's business. Bringing in a lot of profit there. Next level gives us the tech points, and we need church infrastructure and construction level 3, which we're not going to get for a very long time. We're trapped. We are very much trapped in terms of tech points right now. Tommy Bonson, my my 40s gangster named child. Um, let's go for a stewardship education. Let's go for ambitious. This kid's a genius. So this kid also could be a great character to take over from us. Frail. That's a shame, but it's not it's not a huge problem. News from China. It's okay, China's back open, so we could start working the Salt Road if we want to. Oh, this is nice. Hang on. We're at 32 opinion with him now. It's still not fantastic, I will admit, but it's something. Oh my god, Gummy could also potentially become... Oh, he can become diligent. Did it work? Oh, no. He just became paranoid instead. Honestly, still not a problem. Gummy is a great backup kid if... I mean, Barbarian's doing well. Joris is also very good in terms of just in terms of just diplomacy, though, which we really don't need this early on, I would say. Um, what other what kids have we got? I mean, Wang Truck is also okay, but again, similarly... Sorry? You want to kill Joris Bonson? Wang Truck Bonson wants to kill Joris Bonson. How dare you? How dare you? My craven, stubborn man, he would throw him in prison. He would absolutely chuck him in prison. I mean, you would be executed if you weren't his glorious son. My lord, how dare you. Right, okay, uh, what's, her, what's her daughter like then? Because she's actually she's actually just grown up. Um, she's also insanely good. Oh, she turned a bit mad. Well, you know, you can't win them all. And then we've got, obviously, Gummy and then Trimang as well. Man, he could also come out pretty good. I'm, I'm looking for a good military commander to go with everything else. Let's assign you a guardian. We've got anyone good with Marshall. So failing that, then, I guess we'll educate him because we've got Diligent and, and some other traits that can give him a few bonuses there. Deji! Deji is gone. Our friend Deji. My God. Can I get some Fs in chat, please, for one of our first friends, Deji? Unbelievable. We spent so much... We did so many things. Like... Like, uh... Poor Deji. Unbelievable. That's really... I'll, I'll make sure she's okay. I'll make sure she's fine. She's going she's gonna to be absolutely fine under my care and support. Deji... Know that she is in a better place now. I can't afford to. I can't afford to keep her. I, she's too much money. She's too much money. My man's greedy. It's not going to pay for a random courtier. Like speaking of which, actually, we are we past our court limit. Um. Oh yeah, nineteen out of forty-six. My God. Oh, monastic feudal gives another plus ten. Oh wow, that's really cool. Oh, nothing to worry about then. Don't worry about it. Uh, traders are harassing. Oh God, raiders are attacking our traders. Um. I'll let them continue if they share the loot. Trade value minus ten. But the trade route isn't really bringing in a huge amount. Gains arbitrary. But he is greedy. And he is stubborn. He is deceitful. Um, He certainly wouldn't do that one. That's not happening. Semi Marshall to hunt them down. It's not going to cost him anything. And they are affecting his taxes. You know what? I think that one's a bit more. I think that one's a bit more Joris. How did we do? Did we manage it? No, we still got Caravan Raiders. Fantastic. Great work. Great work, Marshall. Who is he? <gasps> he did it. Oh my god, actually good work, Marshall. Trongji, you could be my new Deji. Another kid turning ambitious there. Gives him 10, Marshall. Really don't care about... <laughs> I don't care about uprising. It's not people who aren't, so I'll be frank. This is fine. We've got some nice kids to pick from. I'm still not sure. It's a shame the, the minor title of, you know, like you get in Merchant Republic's designated air isn't there. That way we'd be much more easily be able to compare all of them and see which one we want. Um, let's also make sure no one else is plotting to kill us. Kill... Marisa Te is trying to kill Torma, who is... Our lover. I think we need to pretend that we know nothing. I think that's just... Let's, let's just turn around and walk. We're going to turn 360 degrees around and walk away from that problem. No. Bonson Barbarian has stolen from us. Bo Barbarian Bonson. I'll teach you about stealing from your master. We lose 50 gold and we're going to wound him and gain... And he'll gain arbitrary. Or we sack him as our apprentice and he gains gluttonous. Oh my god. That's so bad. I mean, could we could we maybe fire him for a week and bring him back? 
We can oh we can. Wait, no, that's not him. Uh we actually can't make him apprentice again. That's a real shame. Gummy. Gummy, you might be right. Oh my god, we can take him on as apprentice at 15. Oh, I could have spent Oh no. We lost control of the markets. National tax modifier minus 20% for the next 19 years. That's that's actually huge. That's a really, really bad thing to happen. How could it come down to this? We were prepared, we had the funds and our influence was incontestable, but some it was not enough. Oh shit. Well, now we're back down to 1% influence. Market crash minus 50%, inflation, bad trades. Unbelievable. Wow. That screwed us. Oh, what is this? There is worrying news from the province of Barrow. The Buddhist faith is weakening. A strange local death cult has taken over. What the fuck is a local death cult? What? Um. Okay. That's a problem. We might have to leave the trade league and go and, and visit our friends in the monastery. Would he do that? He's a greedy man, though. He wouldn't leave. Absolutely not. Okay, okay. Hunt apostates. Are we, are we already hunting apostates? Trashy, is there something you're not telling me? Trashy, you'll you let me down. I'm worried about these death cults. We're going to have to bring in our wise man. Wise man, hunt these apostates. Find the death cult. I'm sorry, Trashy. I'm sorry. You've had the job for so long and you've let death cults appear in the capital. I mean, didn't do too badly, but to be fair, he's got 19 stewardship anyway. Uh, so that's that's pretty fantastic. Game straight fortune builder. And if we play as him, we can build that up into Midas Touch. Gummy, I think, I think you're the one. He's just, he's honest, he's paranoid, he's ambitious, he's a kind man. Frail, great accounting coin though. He's, he's, he's a Joris successor through and through. Because you got to remember, Joris only had 20. But Joris also gets Midas Touch, which gives him two more that I believe than uh, what he has, right? Uh, oh, three more. Wow. So this guy, if he came on Midas Touch, would be up to 22 already. He's, he's, he's actually better than Joris. I'm not sure how the hell we managed it, but we've done it. Basically flip powerful, which wasn't really relevant, into genius. That's fine. I'll take it. Oh, and Trimang as well, our other son there, our other completely normal son. Brilliant strategist. This is good. So we've actually got the choice now, if we feel like it. Do we take a kid with 19 stewardship, or do we take a kid with 19 martial? I'm actually genuinely surprised we got such good kids out of that. Ambitious. This guy's also powerful, so he's very suited, and he's a siege leader. That's a hard choice, I'm going to be honest. That's a hard choice. We've spent so long playing as, as Joris Bonson. You know, we've got an ambitious son coming up. He might be the one to start expanding the borders of Bera. There's only so much we can get out of this land. You know, we're up at high in the mountains. I think there's a limit. I think the sky is literally the limit in this scenario. We need to come down from the sky into farmland. These guys, though, our only really port of expansion is either taking out the uh, one of the splinter states of the Tibetan Empire, or we take out one of the splinter states of Tibetan Empire's vassals, which is uh, also not going to help out too much. So he's got 3,500. You've got 5,004. We have got mountains of cash. And if we put Trimang in charge, I'm not sure. I really don't know. We've seen the round prosper too. So that's nice. Oh, we're known as the Gentle. Joris Bonson, the Gentle of Barrow. Wow, that's incredible. Um, Straight the bullets religion. Let's, maybe we should try and get rid of that death cult. Because I think, as our man, a man's a pilgrim, you know, he's diligent, he's humble. I feel like it would be within his best interest to remove a local death cult from his capital. Holy shit. Wait, what? My heart burns with further upon hearing the poor Buddhist souls being oppressed in the realm of Maharaj Vari, the Mockingbird. Brahma intended for all these true believers to be free to decide their own fate, but if Brahma is preoccupied with divine things, perhaps I should carry out the will of Brahma. We've got liberate religion, Cassus Belli. Holy shit, what? And that just, well, that allows us to what, set up a kingdom, right? A new rule of the Buddhist religion. This rule will become our tributary. Whoa. That's big. Gentle Joris Bonson, fearing the death cult, has decided he needs to take matters into his own hands. Holy shit. Wow. Um, nearby Hindu rulers might ask to join him in, in defense of his faith. This guy's Buddhist. This guy's Buddhist. Wait, was this guy Buddhist? Wait, he was. It's Buddhist all the way down. Besides this guy. Oh, wow. Getting this guy as a tributary as well, or getting this entire kingdom as a tributary would be fantastic. You've got to remember, though, our daughter is, is married to his son. So eventually this realm is going to fall into our dynasty, or at least relatives of our dynasty's hands regardless. I'm not sure. It's so rare we get that liberation. And as Buddhists, we're not going to get many other big castles Bella like this, are we? It's not going to exactly give us a kingdom, but it's a nice start. Um. Oh, now here's another thing. We get to use subjugation against people of our religion, don't we? So we can subjugate this guy, for example. 
So we could flip them to Buddhist and subjugate the whole thing eventually if we release them as a tributary. And these guys are going to be a lot easier to subjugate than this guy. But, of course, the downside to this right now is that, oh, God, he's a tributary of suzerain of him. Suzerain of him. Wait, what? Who's saying it's the suzerain? Oh, it's different types. Tributary breaks when he becomes part of a different realm. Whereas, what is this one? Uh, and they're two different types. So, so one's uh, uh, making a realm of tributary and one's getting him to pay tribute. I remember. Um, right. Great question. What do we do then? I almost feel like I have to do this. 3,500. 5,000. So let's, let's assume we've got like 9,000 men in the bank. We've got 1,000, but we've got money in the bank. Is there any way I can use these assets to very quickly ask for a loan? Lose 100 gold, and we can clear our debt as well. Do we have to pay money for that? I don't know that we do. Oh, God, yeah, that costs a fortune. Don't bother with that then. Fuck that. Um... We can also take out the money from the moneylenders. Oh, we can become a moneylender to start off with. We can also borrow money from other moneylenders. And really go all in. You know what? This is this is divine will. We, we've been given this Casas Belli for a reason. We've given a son who's incredibly powerful at Marshall for a reason. It's all coming together. Make him a commander. For the first time ever, we're actually going to have someone competent leading our goddamn troops. Look at this guy. Between Barbarian Bonson and Trimang Bonson, we've got good commanders. I'm feeling it. I think this is it. Raise the troops. Let's get to see the mercenaries. What have we got? Um, so we don't really want the dragon army. And I feel like the Hindustani band... Yeah, we could hire those guys. I mean, it seems like a little bit of overkill. That's what I was going to say. We've got 200 elephants. 406 gold. 27 gold a month. We'd have them for, I mean, less than three months. Maybe that's a bad plan. We do need to make up the numbers, though. So we need to go for at least, I would say, 4,000 men. 3,800 is also pretty good. The monthly cost of these guys is low. Why? Oh, because they're almost entirely light infantry. But we're playing quite early in CK2. Oh, man. This is a difficult... Oh, these guys are better. Yeah, I'm going for you guys. Fuck it. Welcome aboard. Right, we've got 5,000 troops. Is that going to be enough? Honestly, probably not. But I'm going to I'm gonna test it. If we take out these guys first, by the time they get their armies down towards us, it should be about equal, right? Let's try it. Let's try it. This is going to be risky, but I'm going to give it a go. Right, auto balance. Head down, immediately crush these troops. Let's turn the speed down. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to be some good commanding here. Okay, we must agree to disagree. We've provoked him. Yeah, no shit we've provoked him. He might not even call him in. He might not even be able to call him in, because it's a religious tribute tribute it's a, it's a religious liberation, and this guy is our religion. So we might not be able to call him in. I don't know the mechanics of it, to be completely honest with you. At which point, come on, let's keep a close eye on that. Don't call him in. Let us let us get away with this. This could be fantastic. Right, let's go around, let's take this carefully. So they've got is there a river crossing? No, 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 there's not. If they've got hills, that doesn't matter. Hills are irrelevant. Perfect. This I don't care about. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. They're crushing us. We got very fucking lucky there. Where did they come from? I didn't even see them, I'll be honest with you. Right, cross the river, chase them down. That is that bad? No, it should be fine. Our morale's gonna hold out. We've got better commanders too. Yeah, we're fine. Holy shit, we actually might pull this off. And then we could just immediately subjugate them with our next character. And, I mean, it doesn't really matter who we play as, greedy or military. Both of them seem appropriate. Oh, shit. This guy just became a tributary of China. Oh, my God. All the way down there. Are you nuts? You can't let China have this much influence, my man. Especially not us up in Tibet. This seems like a terrible idea. Okay, well, go for his capital then. Liberate our brethren. Let's just sit here and let it naturally siege down for a while. We've got this in the bag, I think. 73% already. I mean, can marry... Who is this? Is this trash... Who are you? Who the fuck are you? Oh, she's just a good courtier. I'm marrying off to Gummy Bonson. Yeah, actually, he is, she's a good courtier. I don't know who the hell she is and where she came from, but she's great. She's attractive. She's shrewd. She's gray eminence. A good wife for Gummy Bonson, our current heir. There's a 75% chance we can give him patient as well. Oh, my God. I can't believe we've gotten lucky with that. That would have been awesome to get that on top of everything else. Can't afford that. Nope, you're not building a statue. Oh, shit. They've called him in. They've called him in. Um, How long are they going to get here? 18th of May. Oh, God. Um, that's bad. We might actually still have him on the rocks. What the, what, you've coming out of my capital. What? Yeah, that's a problem. They actually did call them in, but they've only got 5,000 troops. Okay, bear with me on this one. Not all is lost. Not all is lost. Hire the money with our own armies. Uh, sorry, hire the armies with our own money. Take out a loan. Not to... Not to necessarily... How long are they going to get here? 2nd of July. Okay, these guys should be in a relatively good scenario before then. Only so it can sit there in the treasury and then we can pay it back if we need to, but just to cover the reinforcement costs. Are they still going to do that? They're not. Okay, good, 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 good. Fuck off. Right. Head south. Uh, meet under armistice. 
Oh, right, because we're still trying to sway him. He does not trust me enough. There, there is a way you can actually ask him to be an armistice and then chuck him in prison. That's always quite good. Trashy. A day of mourning. Remember the 21st of July, 892. The day Trashy passed away. Your legacy lives on through your lovely daughter slash son. Sogal. Your lovely daughter, Jet Sunma. And Trashy Jr., who is, of course, going to be married into our family. You know what, Trashy Jr.? If we get land for you, my friend, it's yours. Your dynasty deserves it. You've done so much for us and so much for the realm. This was a scummy play. Is it going to work? Uh... No, but we might... I might still go through with it. Hmm, this could work. Bear with me. This is, this is also a very scummy play. I'm seeing if we can get the movable locks heading towards us. Okay, they're counter-seeding, so we actually need to do something about it. Um... I might roll with that. It's obviously horrible attacking into mountains. We're going to have a river, too. Uh, no, it's just mountains. 4,600 versus 3,400. We've got good commanders. Let's, let's do it. I'm, I'm going to risk it. it, it it's a very risky move, I will admit, but I'm going to roll with it. Good luck. Okay, they're going to reinforce. I kind of expected them to. Where's the enemy commander? I'll kill him myself. Oh, no. You're craven, though. Either, he doesn't belong here. No, he definitely... He's, he's a craven man. He doesn't belong here. Okay. Oh, this is good. Are they locked? We might have them. We might have both their armies here. I almost want to hire someone else, to be honest with you. We just got to hope luck is on our side. We've got no commander there. Our center is stronger, and our right flank is stronger. We've just got to hope we've got luck. We haven't got luck. We haven't got luck. Shit. Um. Oh, God. How about take this how to build a well and let me live? I'm, I can't. That hurts everything in my heart to give them how to build a well. I can't do it. I'll duel him. He's a craven. He wouldn't do that. But he's greedy. He wouldn't give up. He's disfigured. He's disfigured. He wouldn't give up his, his possessions. He'd sooner die than do that. We know, we know Joris. He would sooner die than give in to these cowards. Okay, minus 44% is not where I want to be right now. I'll be frank. But we've got 2,000 troops left over, which is more than... Hang on. We came out really well out of that, I'll be honest with you. Um, really? <laughs> That's brave. Uh, I suppose they've got way more morale than us. 3rd of January. Okay, this could be interesting. Oh, yeah, we're going to lose those guys. Yeah, that's a shame. Minus 59%. I think we're going to have to take out more loans. This is this is how it all goes badly wrong very quickly. Bonson Wangchuk, get out of here. You've, you've served your time, I think. This is how it all starts going wrong. I'm going to hire the Hindustani band. Big, expensive. I think we need all the help we can get. I would rather hire these guys and really and not take any more risks. If I'd have hired these guys to start off with, I think this war could be over by now. Right, let's see what we've got. Trimang take the center. Barbarian on the flank. Uh, Joris too. Let's also balance these units. Get south. Holy shit. Wow, this is... Uh, oh my god, he's fine. That's so good. He's completely healed. A little disfigured, but again, he didn't lose anything. So you know what? That's good. A daughter was born to gummy. Bum. <laughs> Don't change it. <laughs> Bum <-bottom. laughs> Does that say burn? Or does that is that bum? I think that is just straight up bum. Welcome. My god, I know who my heir's gonna be. Probably not this fucking kid because he didn't inherit anything. Holy shit. Bum Bonson. I cannot believe it. Get, send him. Send him off for education immediately. Uh to us. Joris, meet Bum, your grandson. Glorious Bum. Should have named him Trashy, to be honest with you. Trashy Bum. That's his middle name. Trashy Bum Bonson. Okay, let's start doing some damage then, team. Because now they really can't stop us. What's only going to stop us is our money. It's our treasury at this point. Um, lose kind or gain greedy. Gain greedy. Take greedy. Absolutely fantastic. That, that, that's, that's really what we wanted there. Um, intolerable. Oh, not Gagya. Gaga, you were so good. I'm going to chuck you in prison. I'm going to banish you. Let's get, let's take that money back. He was a wise man, which is a real shame. Can we invite him back? <laughs> Will that work? Oh, my God, we can just invite him straight back. Incredible. He's agreed. You know, we came to an agreement. Give us back the money. We're going to set you from the job, but you can stay around. You can stay in our court. Okay. Um, Court guru. Actually, we can assign him as just straight up. You can be guru, but you can't. We can't make you the... The, the Upadhyaya anymore. That's Gummy's job. Gummy needs some experience. Gummy, let's start, uh, let's just start hunting apostates. Get rid of that death cult. These guys need to just start assaulting things down. 
Because we can't afford to keep them much longer. Throw your lives away. Lives in exchange for money. I think that's exactly what our man would do right now. Why have they got so much war score? It's all about a war score. Oh my god, we're going to have to assault down bloody everything. Oh, good lord. Ah, Bjorn, my lovely daughter, has married Trashy Jr. You remind me so much of your father. It's the, it's the hat, I think. And actually just every feature. You look identical. He's just a, it's just a clone of Trashy. Came out shrewd, too, so he's not a terrible husband. Good work, Trashy Jr. You can get some land eventually. Harrow. No, he's going to be heartbroken. Come here, you're right. He's not, he's not bothered. I don't think they were particularly attached. She's dead. All right, you know what? We'll find your better wife. Uh, because she had, she had attractive, which is all well and good. Finding a genius slash prodigy slash powerful daughter would be much better instead. Prodigy. Uh, pro, pro, prodigy. Thank you. Right. Uh, gender? Ooh, women. Uh, in prison? Preferably not. Married? Preferably not. Ruler? Preferably not. Uh, preferably not. Preferably not. Okay. Diplo range? <laughs> well, that has immediately fucking ruined it, huh? Let's just say any. Maybe she'll be up for it? I don't know. Let's see. Arrange, arrange marriage. You up for marrying my... No, because she's a Brahmin, I assume. That's got to be it, right? Okay. Genius? I mean, there's, there's going to be a genius kicking around somewhere. Genius? Uh... She's burn. That might do it. Okay, arrange, arrange betrothal between her to Gummy. Matrilineally. Okay, they want matrilineal, but nothing else. Fine. Uh, what about her? What, what about what about this one instead? Arrange. Oh, she's 36. That's why. Um, arrange betrothal? Nothing. Won't do it. Oh, because we're at war. Right, that's actually a fair point. You know what? We'll come back to that. The, first things first, let's deal with this 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 uh, sort of large issue we have going on right now in terms of warfare. My wife Marisa Tay asked me if I'm having an affair with Torma. No, how dare you? That's how fucking that's Trashy's wife. How dare you talk about Trashy's wife like that? Like to worth I mean, you know, she what well, she don't know won't hurt her. How dare you? you uh, the man's barely dead. The ma <laughs> barely dead. What does that mean? The man's barely cold in the ground, and you're accusing his wife of of I was gonna say sodomy, but that's not right. Uh, adultery. That's it. Infidelity was the actual word I was trying to think of. You disgusting lady. Right, okay. I mean, as in Marie Zate for accusing poor Trashy's wife of doing things that clearly she would not. Come on, we're siege down every fucking province. This is a joke. <gasps> After many years of being spent dedicated to the trade league, they've made us master. We're now trade master. We can become a merchant republic. Not that we would. Become a center of trade. That's good. And forge a golden bloodline. Oh, I recognize one of the greatest merchants who's ever lived. How do we do that? I don't know how we do that. Forge Golden Bloodline. Here we go. Has a trade master trader. We don't. Has personal wealth of 300. Okay, we don't have that one either. Assets. Okay, we don't have that one. Only garden decorate. Oh, wow. This is cool. Found a resource your domain. So we have to do everything. Transform your realm to a republic. Won a trade war and has 100 trades. Shit, that's difficult. Wow. But that is maybe the goal for our next boy. To surpass even his father and forge that golden bloodline of legend. No. I decided to tour Monuels to receive adulations for my subjects, but as my open carriage took a turn past the scroll depository, heard a whizzing sound of an arrow. What? No. The invention of our hat. Oh my god, thank you. Because we're doing a war for Buddha here. Obviously, that's what Buddha wants. He said, hey, go out and war in my name. As I, as I recall, that's kind of key, one of the key tenets of their religion, right? Come on. Barbarian. Is this because you're not heir? End your plot right now and we will forget this ever happened. I will overlook the murder. You fool. You foolish boy. The greed. He must have, I mean, he's probably got it from probably got it from us. Um, she's decided Marisa Tabe, uh, due to our recent assassination, uh, has, or assassination attempt, I should say, has decided to splash soap all over the floors to stop us being murdered. You stupid fucker. Never leave Marisa Tay in charge of running anything to do with the government. That was a, that was a terrible idea. Um, send her to the arrest instead. She can, she can definitely manage that one. Why are we not winning? I was going to say, his entire realm is siege. Give me a break. Boom. The realm. Now, we did have to take out a ridiculous amount of money to make this happen. But this is what he spent his whole life doing. Building up the money. And now we have ourselves a tributary realm. Someone we can rely on. Someone we can call in. Someone of our religion. We're going to try and make sure that the alliance between our realm and their realm is solidified here. They're going to give us money. They're going to give us military support. This is really what we needed to ensure our independence from these monsters up here in Tibet. That, my friends is all we have time for today. 60 years old, Joris Bonson. It, I mean, he's never going to be able to forge that golden bloodline, but now that we know what the requirements are, we can start working on that immediately with his successor, Gummy Bonson, who I'm almost certain at this stage should be the one to succeed him. A just, paranoid, honest, greedy man, but he's also kind. He has a kind side. You know, he believes in justice. He's a genius. 
and he has room for improvement as well. He could be the greatest Bonson that's ever lived. Gummy Bonson. Incredible. <laughs> Thank you, Trashy. Very cool. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible. And of course, a memorial to Trashy and Deji, our two glorious friends who perished today. Perfectly normal men committed to the perfectly normal earth. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you to Aiden W, Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Anthony Gawley, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Sudini, Crazy Pat, Croesus, Donald, Emerald Beam, Vakuna Vasquez, Fluffernutter, Ghost of Protocol, Gogola, Sarik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lindeen, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kanan Carter, Michael Mullen, Musk Raffle, Nabuskus 911, Nathan Flores, Necrophil, and Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Stannis the Manus, Shayok, Swain, The Forsaken One, T-Bag Cruz, Tom Terry, Team, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Packers, and William Green. Thank you for your support the Insane Levels on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible. And thank you for making the adventures of glorious Joris Bonson. Much appreciated. And a thank you has to go out as well to Astro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordoom, Ben Trope, Esmus Max, Better Learning, Black Double H, Chris, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don Duncan 27, Easy to Pronounce Name, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerko, Gompo, Gray, Haji Demar, Henrik Stensgard, Icarus, Icy the Great, Ida, Irish, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yohan de Vries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mustelp, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panthel, Payback 137, Payton Denisar, Rodrigo, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Smirtworm, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, The Bloody Knight, The Insane Pickle, Voluntary, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wilson, Tef, Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico 2. See you guys all tomorrow for potentially the last Twilight Hours of Joris Bonson. <laughs>